What's up guys, welcome to day 69 of I Read My Bible Today. Um, as I was kind of reading in Galatians, um, kind of our New Testament reading, there was one verse, um, really just like a little short thought that kind of popped out to me. Um, second Galatians, or wow, well, second Galatians, that's not a thing. Galatians, um, I think it's chapter four, um, in verse 15. You know, he's talking about, like, when he first brought them the good news of Jesus. And he says, like, where is your joyful and grateful spirit that you felt then? And it's kind of loosely related. Um, you know, he's talking more specifically about a, like, specific experience we have, he had with them. Um, but it just kind of made me, like, think, you know, like, where is that joyful and grateful spirit that we had, like, when we first, you know, fell in love with God? And when we first really, like just kind of got obsessed with you know Jesus and the story of Jesus and like for me I'm very much a hobbyist like I like just going and doing things and getting passionate about something new and spending a bunch of money and being excited about different things and so for me as a person I'm very much like a initial like obsessor and so I know you know like when I really fell in love with Jesus I mean I, I just went hard like I went all in and I gave up everything. I gave up my friends, relationships, where I lived, um, and just got involved in my church, got like three small groups. It was just all in for, I think the first probably like three or four years, it was just like all in. Um, and then, you know, over the past couple of years, like things have kind of slowed down and there's been moments that have been, um, you know, exciting and been very sensitive to the Holy Spirit and been awesome. And then there's been moments that have, not had that same kind of energy and um this is kind of a humbling perspective you know just to think back and be like where like where is that joyful and grateful spirit that we had where it's just like you're just happy you're just obsessed you're just like driven and motivated and just so amazed like by the love and just heart of god and you know it just made me think like how do we how do we get back to that place and for me, um, a lot of it is really just like being aware of the sin that I've been saved from um, and the journey that I've been on and how far I feel like I've come um, in my faith, just in maturity and life in general. And, you know, we can, we need to continue to find ways to help us get back to that place where we're just in awe and excited about who God is and just like starstruck because you know like I've been starstruck before I went to Disney one time and Belle walked by and I just like lost all words and it's like literally a 20 year old in a costume and I was like buh, 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 Belle and it's like you know but we walk into church or you know we play worship music or we start reading our Bible and that's just not even remotely there and I think we need to give ourselves permissions to be starstruck again and to just have awe and to just be amazed with who God is. And I think if we can do that and get back to that place, um, our relationships with people and especially with God will be healthier um, and we'll just be a lot happier. And so it's kind of my like thought tonight was just getting back to the place where it's like, man, like God is so cool and crazy and just getting obsessed again and being excited about God. Um, and so I'm just kind of hoping and praying, not only for you, but for me, that I can continue to find that place often and just be completely enthralled with who God is. But anyway, it's day 69 of I Read My Bible Today. Have you? If not, go read your Bible, and I'll see you in the next episode.